Claude 4 versus Gemini 2.5 Pro, who wins? I just spent hours testing both models head to head and the results are absolutely, I'm talking side by side coding battles, real world performance tests and features that will blow your mind. One model completely destroys the other in most categories, but there's a shocking twist you won't see coming. Here's what I'm revealing. The AI super agent that put one model light years ahead controlling browsers and laptops for seven hours straight. Live coding comparisons, building games and tools so you can see which AI codes faster and creates better UIs. And the one feature where the losing model actually crushes a competition and changes everything. Anthropic have just released the Kraken. Claude 4 is out. And today we're going to be testing Claude 4 versus Gemini Pro 2.5. To see which one is the best so for example we can compare 2.5 pro preview which was previously my favorite model against claude 4. now claude have just released two new models opus 4 and sonnet 4. sonnet 4 is pretty good for everyday tasks opus 4 is the best for coding and you can see the benchmarks here so if we compare for example the benchmarks of claude 4 Opus 4 and 4 versus Gemini 2.5 Pro. You can see the benchmarks here. So for agentic coding, Claude 4 is absolutely smashing. Gemini 2.5 Pro, 63% from Gemini 2.5 Pro versus Claude 4 at 79 and 80%. If we look at agentic terminal coding, Gemini 2.5 Pro is really far behind, right? So for example, 25% versus 41% and 50%. Graduate reasoning, they're all about similar actually. So it's only a tiny little fraction between them. Agentic tool use. Gemini 2.5 Pro actually can't use agentic tools. And I'll show you what that means in a second. Multilingual Q&A. No benchmarks right there. Visual reasoning. Actually, Gemini 2.5 Pro is winning on the benchmarks. And then high school maths competition. You can see here that Gemini 2.5 Pro is falling behind Sonnet 4 and Opus 4. But let's see what they actually do in reality. So we've got Gemini. Pro Preview selected over here. We've got Claude, and depending on the task, I'll switch between Opus 4 and Sonic 4, depending on what we've got. And we'll just compare them side by side and see which one creates the best outputs. So, the first prompt that we're going to go with, and all these prompts are inside the AR Profit Boardroom, link in the comments description if you want to steal them from me. But we're going to say, okay, make me a captivating endless runner game, key instructions on the screen, blah, blah, blah. And we're going to plug this into Gemini, we use Canvas, and then we'll also do the same inside. Claude 4 as well, but I'm going to switch to Opus 4 because that's the most powerful model for coding. We'll plug these in and see what we get back. All right, so if we go side by side over here, so you can see them both coding out at the same time. This is Gemini 2.5 Pro. This is Opus 4. And they're both coding out here. They both have artifacts features as well, which allows us to preview the code when we actually run it inside the chat. You can also get free, this is interesting as well. So with Claude 4, you can get free access inside Claude AI. If you want to get free access to Gemini 2.5 Pro, as far as I'm aware, the best way to get free access is you go to aistudio.google.com and you can get free access directly inside here. By the way, if you want all my best trainings on Claude 4, I'm actually giving them away for free inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description. Just go to the AI course and you'll see tons of resources and eight different ways to use Claude 4, including how to set up MCPs and AI super agents that can control your browser. So feel free to get that link in the comments description, completely free, my friends, all right? So if we open this up, let's see what we got here. So it's created the code, but I don't think that Gemini can actually preview P5.js inside the browser here. So you can see there's no preview on the canvas. If we open up Claude, we can actually preview this game directly inside the canvas, as you can see. Let's have a little cheeky whirl at this, see what we get back. Yeah, the game is working perfectly. That is beautiful. And we can play it directly inside the browser, which is awesome. All right. So let's compare that now side by side versus Gemini. We're going to have to go to P5.js preview to actually check this out. So let me do that. We'll take that code and then we'll go over to P5.js over here. In some ways, Claude is already winning because it can actually preview the code directly inside the browser when it's using p5.js but let's plug this in so we've got the code right here from the game we'll compare these side by side which one looks the nicest do you think that's pretty decent to be fair but i think let's have a look here and this one also the dinosaur is backwards 
So honestly, like if I'm comparing them side by side, I would say the UI is a bit nicer here. And it's pretty easy to use. So it's a bit more interesting in the background. If we compare that versus Gemini 2.5 Pro, it's a bit weird, right? Look at all the real estate at the top versus the actual game. So the game is down here, but why is there all this real estate at the top right here? It doesn't make sense to have that empty space. So if I had to pick one, I'm going to go with Claude simply because it created a nice UI and also it coded out faster. And additionally, it allowed us to preview directly inside the browser. Let's test another one now. So if we go back to the yeah, profit boarding, we'll grab this one. We're going to go in a new chat for both. And we'll say, can you create a 3D car simulator? And then it's building these out. Now you can see here that Gemini 2.5 Pro is stuck on thinking mode. So it's going through thinking mode first, whereas it's just gone straight into action mode. You can toggle thinking inside the settings over here. So if you click on the settings, you can see that, for example, we've got extended thinking as an option if you want to enable that. Alexa, stop. And Claude has actually come back to us quicker with the preview. So we've got the preview of Claude over here. So let's test this out. That looks pretty awesome, to be fair. The UI is pretty nice. Quite like that. Honestly, if I had to pick one, I don't like the spinning camera on this. This is making me dizzy. So this is Claude. This is Gemini 2.5 Pro. I would go with Gemini 2.5 Pro for this, to be honest. It's just, it's weird that this has got a spinning camera. And also, I just think the UI looks a bit nicer inside Gemini. However, Claude did it faster, right? So Opus coded a lot faster. Now, one of the ways the Claude wins, I would say, versus Gemini, is that Claude can actually control your browser. So, for example, if I go over to Claude here, and I open up Claude Desktop, right? And I'm just going to enable inside the browser here, the browser MCP agent extension, as you can see. All this training is inside the AI Success Lab if you want to learn how to set this stuff up. But we're going to go inside Claude here. And using the browser MCP that only Claude can use right now, I'll say, okay, research the latest AI news headlines using my browser. And then we'll select Claude 4, we we'll use Sonnet 4. And so you can see now it just navigated straight away to TechCrunch. So it went to techcrunch.com using the browser. So it can control my browser in the background whilst I'm talking to you. And then you can see here it's clicking through the website, navigating the page. You've basically got an AI super agent on your desktop that's configured directly inside the native Claude, right? And this is getting better and better, I will warn you. So for example, with Claude Opus 4 now and the new update, they've actually announced that this can work for seven hours on a task, uninterrupted. Now, how many people in the world can work on a task uninterrupted for seven hours? Very few, right? Maybe like the top 1%, something like that. And so what I'm saying here is this is a serious threat to taking over particularly a lot of admin tasks. But in general, I think browser use is going to wipe out a lot of jobs because if these AI agents can do tasks better and more focused than most humans, then what does that leave for the basic admin worker, right? So this is now navigating through the website, it's scrolled through the internet, etc. Obviously, you can't do that inside Gemini, right? And Gemini can't control your laptop. Also, this inside here as well, if we go to a new chat and we say, okay, what's my battery percentage we'll hit enter. and not only can Claude control your browser but it can also control your laptop right so you can see here for example using the Apple script MCP training inside the AI, AI success lab if you want to get access to this stuff but inside Claude this native desktop Claude you can see here that we're using the Apple script execute and then it's like right your battery is at 97 percent and it's currently charging so it shows about 23 minutes remaining until it's fully charged so in many ways, Claude does win that battle simply because Gemini is not even in the race right now. They do have Project Marina and I've tested out Project Marina, which can control and operate your browser in a virtual environment. I'll be 100% honest with you, it's super slow and not that great from what I've tested so far. I'm sure it'll get better, but it's just, it's nowhere near the same level as Claude when it comes to this stuff. So when it comes to coding out this game, Gemini 2.5 Pro 1, when it came to coding out the first game, which was the 3D runner game, Claude won. 
And then when it comes to AI super agents and controlling your browser, etc., Claude won simply because Gemini 2.5 Pro is not even in the race. And you've seen all the benchmarks as well. So I've shown you all the benchmarks side by side versus Gemini 2.5 Pro. You can see an example of Claude playing Pokemon right here. This is playing Pokemon just like a human would, and it's just going off and navigating the game and working its magic, which is pretty wild if you ask me. Now, if we go back to our tests, let's try something else out now. We're going to try a test just for building out like a simple website, right? So for example, we say, okay, create a beautifully designed snow day calculator, SEO optimized for the keyword of actual content, the page, a relevant tool. We'll go inside Gemini, hit new chat, make sure you got the canvas selected here. Then we're going to hit enter. And then if we go inside Claude, we'll use Opus 4 and do the same thing. Now there is one thing that Gemini can do that Claude can't. And this blew me away when I tested out yesterday. I got a full video on it yesterday, if you want to check this out. But let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Inside Gemini here, if you're on the Ultra Plan, you can actually build stuff with VO3. And with VO3, you can actually create content that's synced directly with the audio, right? So you can say, for example, say this one liner and just go off and do this. Let me show you an example of what I mean. So inside the AI success lab, if you want to check this stuff out, this was a clip of a comedian in a show delivering this cheeky one-liner. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. I'm going to mute this because I don't want it to mess up the sound on the video. But you can see here, we generated this insane video with AI using one prompt and the audio and the video match perfectly. It's wild. Plus you can share it on a subdomain. Claude can't and probably will never be able to do that so gemini wins in many ways as well multimedia stuff then you know gemini has it all inside the ultra package obviously you have to pay a lot of money for that but it is a powerful pack so we can see these coding out here and gemini smash the task it's got a nice little background it's pretty basic in terms of the content on the page but i'm pretty sure this works if we click calculate snow day chance yes you can see it works Estimated chance of a snow day, blah, blah, blah. But look at the UI from Claude 4. So if we pull this up, which one is nicer? 100% is Claude, Claude 4. The title, the UI, the background, the colors used, the way the font is designed, etc. The front end is much nicer in Claude 4 versus Gemini 2.5 Pro. And so I would say Claude 4 is winning on that front too. So if I had to pick one, I'm going to go with Claude 4. Honestly, I think that's the best. Unless I needed to generate like videos and avatar videos and that sort of thing. I just don't think Gemini 2.5 Pro is at the same level just yet. And also Claude 4 is available for free, right? You get a limited number of usages per day and you can build some amazing stuff out like I've shown you today. Plus, you can use it as an AI super agent to just go off, use your laptop, use your browser do whatever you want, right? If you want the training for all the stuff that I've shown you today, feel free to get that inside the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description. It is completely free and it comes with a community of 7,000 members where you can just share what you're creating, learn from us, post in the community, etc. And it's completely free. Plus it comes with all my latest training, right? So Claude 4 comes out, boom shakalaka, I create three different trainings on exactly how to use it, right? Within hours. So if you want to get the latest, craziest stuff that's going on right now in the AI world, feel free to get the AI Success Lab. Link in the comments description it is completely free. Again, if I had to pick one, I'm going with Claude 4, unless I need to create videos. And then Bayer 3 is a go right now. It's a go. And also this comes with tons of other stuff. So for example, like NA10 appointment setter, apps, AI super agents, short automations, etc. And we're constantly giving away free trainings every single day inside the AI Success Lab. So make sure you join before you miss out. And if you want to get coaching, help, support, if you want to get DM support, if you want to get weekly coaching calls where you can learn how to implement this stuff, right? Because it's one thing knowing exactly how to use this stuff. It's another thing knowing how do you implement it in your business, right? How do you use it to make money? How do you use it to, to personalize and automate the processes you have going on? And that's what I recommend inside the AI Profit Boardroom because you can jump on there. It's a community focused on making money and saving time with AI. And you can see inside the community here, you can post questions and actually get answers. You won't find that inside the AI Success Lab. You won't be able to get help inside the AI Success Lab. 
because everyone's just doing their own thing. The 7,000 people in there is too busy. Whereas the AI Profit Boardroom, it comes with an awesome community of people just really serious about stuff, all working together, working towards a goal, which is scaling the business, making money and saving time with AI. Comes with courses and workflows that you will not find anywhere else, including how we've scaled our business using this crash course and different automations that you won't find anywhere. And additionally, inside the calendar here, you can jump on coaching calls. We're going to jump this up to three coaching calls a week next month. And already you can jump on the live calls, ask any questions you have. Plus, you can DM us if you need support, if you need help, and if you're stuck on anything. So this is the best place to get coaching and personalized support. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Link in the comments description if you want to get this stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.